Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Runer. It's a, well, it's a bit of a hard game, probably. I'm gonna see if I can mess with some settings. I wanna see if there's difficulty here. Sound effects, though, that's that's something we're gonna have to crank down. Let's crank this down a little bit, and then crank that down a lot. I wanna listen to mostly the music, because honestly, blah, 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 eh. Anyway, new game. Uh, let's see, so we got easy, let's do normal. I always do normal. Sometimes I might do hard, but I... I don't know. In the year 2091, for something. Okay, playing with people's lives has never been more fun. <sighs> I want to go back. Oh well, too late now. I wish I wouldn't progress or actually voice act this or something. Oh well. So we're just some dude with like Zero's helmet from Borderlands 2. Kill boss. So this is just a boss rushy type. That? Alright. So I'm going to be honest, I heard this game is hard. I'm probably going to bitch about it. <laughs> I'm not, um... I will play hard games. I will play hard games if they're balanced well and made well and stuff like that. Like Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight, okay, might not be the hardest game, but towards the end it actually got to be, like, pretty difficult. Your master. 3, 2, 1. All systems online. You are in heaven. You're here to kill the boss. They know you're here. Do what I say if you want to live. Now let's test out these controls. Okay, objective, kill boss. It's going to be a little bit harder to move around. I'm using uh, keyboard controls just because I have the hardest time to... Okay, we've been spotted. Attack with the le left mouse button. There we go. Now, do I get a sword? I have no idea. But yeah, I played Hollow Knight. I really liked Hollow Knight. I thought that was good. I played Fury. I hated Fury. I turned on the difficulty on Fury and it made it worse. Let's have some fun, boys. Bring him down. Guards, corporate soldiers, short tempered, hardwired. Ow. Oh, but I get some HP back for, I guess, killing these guys. I'm not sure. This is a busy game. Objective, kill boss. Duh. The visuals on all of this is fascinating. I really like the visual design, but it is also a problem. What's going on? Stay back. Okay, dash. Okay, dash with... So I get three dashes before we're done. Dash away from mines. Not so hard. The movement is weird. Because WASD is applying to, a di to the diagonal, which is throwing me off something fierce. That is odd. Alright, I might actually... I'm gonna have to use a controller for this one. Okay, how do I attack? Right trigger to attack? Alright, we'll deal with it. Stay back. I assume I don't want to... Ki yeah, kill boss. Kill the boss. Get away. Heal up to full. So, hot, this is kind of Hotline Miami if Hotline Miami was cyberpunk and all sorts of other things. Come on, asshole. I will end you. Well, that wasn't exactly the greatest, but that's fine. But yeah, I played Fury, which... I don't think is going to be exactly what this game is. But... I think I'm going to have uh, similar frustrations just with the the speed and everything of it. I think this is a little bit less about timing and more about like placement and like proper use of abilities. All right, I have taken some hits here. Well, I'm doing okay. Objective good, and I think I heal up from something. You heal up occasionally. I just don't know when or where or what. That's okay, so that's Phil's energy meter. Gotcha. And health. Did, did I not heat? Oh, I have to... I have to stand on it. Okay, so what's this do? Energy, power, skills, and gadgets. Energy, woo! Okay, this is, this is encouraging. All right, so we've got an energy shield. Skill points two, portable energy shield that blocks projectiles. Toggle with left trigger. Shield switches off automatically. When you attack, combine with dash to damage or kill enemies. On use, upkeep. Okay. Sure.
Okay. Choose energy shield. There we go. Good. So, it's a bit expensive. I assume I get energy back somehow. Probably with, uh... I assume I get my energy back through kills or some kind of activities. Alright, so we've got a... We do have sentry guns. Alright. Activate shield with left trigger. Well. It doesn't look like it's that big of a deal. The one problem it, I'm probably going to have to deal with... Is... Okay, can't get these. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough fingers for this. I'll figure it out. I don't know. I, I'm going to keep messing with it. I was kind of hoping that this would be a little bit easier to control with keyboard and mouse, because my aim sucks on this sort of thing. I always have the hardest time with this specific type of game. Because I want to play it because I love the setting, but I don't actually want to play it for the challenge or, like, the difficulty. Oh, okay, I do get uh, energy from it. Like, I, I, I like being reasonably challenged, but I don't want to, like throw my face at the wall forever and, and get crushed. I, I have no idea what I'm exactly going to experience here. Uh, reasonably challenged is something I'm always looking for as opposed to like, you know, blisteringly difficult. Uh, that's why I kind of liked uh, Dark Souls 2 over, say, like, Bloodborne. Even though Bloodborne might actually be like the... might actually be easier once you master it. I just enjoyed the slow methodicalness of of Dark Souls 2 over it. I get a gun. And we get the runer. Auto fire. I've only got eight rounds though. Or is that oh that's before I that's before I reload. Okay, waste all enemies. So we don't actually have to worry about ammo capacity. That's good. That probably would have been just kind of unfortunate more than anything else. Also looks like when I've got a really long combo meter, we might get um we might have, like, an easier time of it. Let's grab the pay. Can I get multiple? No. So it seems like the runer is, like, definitively, like, kind of the... the better experience. Let's grab the assault rifle. Am I free to go? I am free to go. I haven't died yet, but I, I feel like, uh, it's because the game's going easy on me. Might not be. I don't know. Let's get our energy back. Multi-dash. Okay, hold left bumper. Set all dash waypoints. That's interesting. I have no idea what that actually entails. Well, objective kill boss. Let's, let's see if we actually succeed at killing said boss or if it's just going to be a mild problem. Okay, I want to get to it. Hold left bumper. Dash to spotlight with... Pick up weapon with A. So grab the storm. Dash to safety. Waste all enemies. So it's a... It's like a storm bolt launcher thing. I'm not entirely sure what they meant by dash to safety, but... Oh! St Stormbolt has, uh, limited resources before it's out. Okay, let's go back to this for a second. Okay, and we get hijack, weapon locker. Alright. Well, so far, so good. Oh, we get a shotgun. I like shotguns. Shotguns are kind of more my speed anyway. Arena. So we get another energy rifle. Storm, waste all en enemies. I think I'm just gonna roll shotgun with this, just because shotguns just... Shotguns just feel good in video games. They just feel good. Unfor ow! Ow! Are those my own? Those might have been my own. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like the runer, uh... Like, pistols and stuff are... Pistols and stuff are, are going to be my, uh, bread and butter. I don't think we get unlimited ammo with everything else. Am I out of dashes? No, I'm not. I'm curious. 
I, I, I feel like I've been pressing uh, the dash button. Ow. But it hasn't been taking? But it could be wrong. Okay, let's get our HP back. Let's grab the shotgun again. At least we don't lose the Bruner. Like, it would be unfortunate if we... If we... Uh... Would lose, like, whatever gun we had. Because this, this isn't like Hotline Miami, where, like, you run out of ammo, you chuck the gun at the guy, and you keep going. Hello. Alright, so we've got the fusion. So it's a flame shotgun. Of a sort. Now, it looks like I might be able to hit myself here. Oh, that's a that's a mine. I'm just going to stay away from them. So apparently, like, uh, why can't I dash half the time here? I, I'm pressing the dash button and it's not working. I'm not really sure why. I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong, but I, I must be. Yep. I've got to be. I don't know. Yeah, I've got to get used to the fact that my character needs to specifically turn around here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kill boss. Thank you. Don't do it. So we're being controlled by multiple people. One who's... I'm sorry? I can't aim down? That's interesting. I wonder why. Okay, well, let's heal up. Is this another weapon locker? It is. Can I, can I do it? There we go. Alright, do we actually... Okay, we just get another shotgun. It'd be nice if I could actually permanently have a shotgun that would probably get a little bit ridiculously overpowered. Okay, so you gotta wait for the... You gotta wait for the superhero jump to finish. Before I can do things. Uh, let's see, nothing on Cobra. Oh, we're still waiting on... Do you... Damn it! And dead. Press B to restart. I assume it just puts me back to the... area I was in. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a... a bit of a, like, um... a cold start on when I can use... abilities here. How do I? Oh, that's that's how I use. That's how I use some of these things. Okay, let's grab the Chris. Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Put that up. Yeah, I can always I can always use my shields if I have to. I just okay. Wake up. I just got to get used to my uh, the timing on a number of these things. Because, yeah, I can't fire and have the shield at the same time. That would be overpowered, wouldn't it be? Alright, so here's our boss. Though apparently we don't want to. Oh my god. Those haircuts, those flat top haircuts are amazing. They all look like weird plastic army men. Oh, they've got those like bizarre pants that are like, I don't know. Sometimes life can be so simple. You want to kill my boss, I'm here to make sure you don't. That's all there is to this. Everything as it should be. And I'll drink to that when we're done. Get him, boys. Alright, zero hour. The boss waits behind the door. I'm setting a timer. You die when it reaches zero. Killing your enemies will delay the inevitable. Fight as fast as you can if you want to live. I don't like our helmet. Mainly, I don't like the nose. Okay. There we go. We've got regular enemies. Uh, let's see, the slow, slow-mo is going to be a bit of a... Ow. 
the slow mo is going to be a bit of a problem. I really can't aim very well here. Okay. I'm just going to wail on him. Well, it looks like melee works rather well for me compared uh, compared to guns. All right, so we get the fusion. And that was it. Okay, we done? We're done. Headhunt. Chief Wadayama dead. That is collected. Everything is good. Wake up. So, well, enter location. Boss's office. Sure, why not? Interrupt. Signal lost. Oh, shit. That, like, blew off the arm. Oh, oh boy. I'm not even going to try and read any of these things. I'm just going to experience. Holy shit. Not too late, am I? You okay? Nod. I've been trying to reach you. Someone hacked your damn brain. This is a setup. They sent you to assassinate the boss of heaven. There's more bad news. They took your brother to make sure you do the job. Oh, jeez. That means they'll kill him unless we get him back first. Get out of here fast. Head to Rencock South. I'll contact you there. A plus, nice. Okay. I like this, it's very stylish, and it doesn't seem like it's impossible, which is good. It might get a lot harder though. We'll see. I'm probably just gonna keep trying it. It looks like it's doable. Now, am I still short in arm? I am still short in arm. I hope I get the ability to switch out this helmet. I don't know, I just don't like the weird, like, nose thing popping out. The rest of the helmet is badass, but like, that nose, man. I like. It's neat. I have kind of a um, love-hate relationship with Devolver Digital games. They always look so cool, but whenever I try them, it just doesn't work out well for me. What do we have here, an early Christmas present? You're in bad shape, boy. I think I need a few spare parts. He's an old man. I guess I'll use old man voice. Rangok South. Where we hit after that shit show in heaven. Not a great place, but there are good people here. For us. Good for us, anyway. Still alive, I see. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't brought you back in myself. Do you remember anything at all, how you got here? Nod. Whatever happened, left you a mess, boy. Fished you out of the gutter with one arm gone and blood and wiring everywhere. That mask of yours was going all sorts of haywire. Normally I've scrapped you for parts, and I helped only because she asked me to. Although, she asked, didn't exactly cut it. I put your faceplate back together with spit and glue and bubble gum. <laughs> and I've installed a new arm. Took some doing. Your hardware is older than dirt. I also fixed... You a new citizenship. Thought you might need a fresh start so you can earn your karma back and be a legal customer. Sort of. Let me show how you, show you how it works. These are skill points. Use them to acquire abilities and upgrades. New abilities are unlocked as your karma level increases. Activate them with skill points. Swap between... Okay, I'm going to read this in normal voice instead of his. Swap between active abilities using the radial menu. You can learn about any ability or upgrade here. New abilities, okay. You can also see it in action, even in full screen. Each ability is developed further with upgrades. Upgrades can acquire skill points to buy. Remember, you can deactivate any ability or upgrade. Use retrieve skill points to activate different ones. You can manage your skills from anywhere. Just hit, uh, select and enter the panel. You have a bunch of skill points. Go ahead, use them wisely. So, over, okay, so we got energy shield. Bip. It's a little finicky. I guess I can use the D-pad for this. So we've got the energy shield. We've already got that. It's level one, but I might be able to increase the level. Now the shield deflects projectiles and throwables. Now that's helpful. So let's pick that up. Okay, so buying the shield costs two. And I can't get this one. Oh. 
Because I have to be level 10? I guess so, but that shield upgrade is very worth. Oh, and we can get over here. We've got this too. Dash. Yeah, the ability to deflect projectiles and throwables is probably really handy. So we have one skill point, but I can't spend it on anything right now. Summary. Missions. Okay. So not yet started. Okay, those are other things. You're in Rengok South now. The bottom of the bottom. Trouble will find you soon enough, unless you find it first. I love cyberpunk as a style. I wish there were more games that got into it. It looks like it's kind of having a bit of a, not a renaissance, but uh, people are maybe taking a little bit more of a look at it. Obviously, there was Deus Ex, but unfortunately, uh, I don't know, kind of felt like South, not South. Uh, Square Enix was kind of ignoring it as a, um, as a, a thing. I mean, obviously we had, uh, Human Revolution, which was great, and then Mankind Divided, which wasn't. There you are. We gotta move fast if we want to save your brother. I combed through the shit left in your head from the hack and found a clue. A haven, a heaven, staffer, codenamed Wizard, traced his signal to Rengok South. His trail cuts here. There's this ex-cop, Rustum, who's glued to a stool at a Vostok bar. He's well-connected for a drunk. If Wizard's in town, Rustum will know where he is. Talk to him. Remember, you can hit left if you get lost or confused. Good luck, have fun! Okay. Now, I do actually have another arm here. Yep, okay. So I can ping. Oh, that's... Okay, that recalls my objective. The heck are we supposed to go? Oh, worker. This used to be a fish market. Dang it. So it looks like we might have some side quests that I can pick up along the way here. There's there's open world bounties that I can collect. Itching Oracle. Learn your future. Nod. What is this? The light is sunk into the earth. The image of the darkening of the light. Not light, but darkness. First he climbed up to heaven. Then he plunged into the depths of the earth. The in adversity it furthers one to be perse persevering. Okay. I will tell you your fortune if you bring me three coins from your next adventure. They're worthless to anyone else in this world of karma. Okay. Talk to Biker Girl. Talk to the Infocom. Ah, here we are. This is useful. So we've got the Itching House. Mechanax. Okay, so there's the Vostok. Yeah, I'd like to know where the uh, side quests are, but that's something for later. Is there a sprint button? Okay, I seem to have kind of found it. Uh, bar. Rustum. You wear that mask to hide an ugly fucking mug or something even worse. Shrug. Is that face display supposed to impress me? I know what you want, or who to be more specific. Wizard calls himself a tech specialist, and I'm guessing you call him your next victim. He's been hanging with a local game called the Creeks. Creeks. Creeps. They make people disappear. Last I heard, they got him holed up in the underground parking garage. If you're looking to make a little extra karma, you'll find a few other most wanted types there too. Well, they each got a price on their heads. Bounties. So you want to take out those wanted men in the parking garage for me? Not. Okay then. I'll collect the karma bounty from my buddies on the force and then split it with you. I can transfer, transmit it right he here, right from here. So I don't have to see you, and you don't have to see me. All right. Vamoose, keep this between us. No one likes a tattletale. Alright, uh, let's see. Submissions. So we've got Headhunt. So we already got this guy. We've got Jurek, Cotton Bogdan, Shadow. Interesting. I don't know who these people are. Uh, the other thing is... T -t 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 missions. Itching Fortune. So we've got Rengok South. Ah, here we are. Coins found. I guess there are three. Talk to the Oracle again to get Fortune explained. Uh, Creep's Nest. So we've already found all three coins in Rengok South somehow. Well, I guess let's go find another um, Infocom. So we want to go to the parking garage, top right corner probably. Alright, cool. Talk to Disorder? What's Disorder? Nope! Never mind! Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Why did I talk to... Why did I talk to that? I knew I knew I was in the wrong spot. I knew I was going to the wrong place. I knew what was going on. And I just had to hit that A button. I had to see what was up. I had to be like, oh, what's a... What's a cyberpunk hooker want? And the answer is apparently proselytizing. That's not what I was expecting, but I guess that's what I got. What's this? Have you seen any cats around? Oh man, what now? Are you gonna tell me I'd be so much prettier if I would just smile more? Shrug. I'm not sat here for anyone's amusement. I'm here to protect Rangok South from Heaven's surveillance. You into helping? Listen. Hen Heaven's watching us all, dude. It's the goddamn cats. Furry little fuckers worming their way into our minds, stealing our data. Cats, cute autonomous transmission systems, spies from heaven. Find them, jack in, pull the data, get back to me. We'll split any karma or intel you find. Not. Trusting you is a risk, but I have a good feeling about you. Alright, so I have to find cats. I'll have to look for that. It looks like we've got a bunch of like weird fetch quests. Well, there's a cat right now. A, X, Y, B, B, B. Huh. Yeah, so the cats are fake. Okay, so that's the parking garage. Dr. Creep. All bodies feel the same in the dark. Hope you're not parked there. I'm tempted to actually run around. Let's let's find some cats here. Uh I, I kinda wanna don't I, I don't wanna get into anything else. At least for a little bit, so I figured let's go find some some cats. It can't be that hard to find, just kind of like little collectathon side bits. <sighs> Looks like the NPCs are a little bit broken here. Luckily, it doesn't matter. But, like, I'm seeing a lot of NPCs that are getting stuck on, like, random shit and kind of broken. Not that it really matters, but it's just a weird thing to note. Talk to Grumpy. Nope. Oh, interesting. If I actually point myself in the direction that I'm trying to go, we will we will actually go a fair bit faster, too. Talk to Hag? Hiding 743, I see you and you see me. The eye, did you see it? I, it sure saw you. No one can escape from the all-seeing eye. Look away. What is this? Wait a minute. Who is this? The real face behind the mask? It's you! It's the eye! The eye! You came, you saw, you know. Listen. Yes, the game has started to get the king. Start with the pawns! Here's one pawn I see already on the move. Keep him in check, eye. He <laughs> Nod. It's watching. It's always watching. You've got a target on your back. You're being watched. Alright. Uh, so for those of you guys... Oh, it might have actually just been that camera there. I wonder. Um, no cats up here, though. Blech. I'll have to... I might have to look up, like, a cat guide. Cat location guide. Actually, speaking of... Alright, one more. Uh, I'm sorry I'm doing this instead of running another mission. I just, I know that if I start another mission, we're only going to get partway through. And I prefer to get some side content done while we're here. What about this guy? No, nothing. We found two out of... Ah, here's the last one. B-A-X-X-B-B. -B. Good enough of that. And yeah, let's see what uh, she gives us. If we're lucky, we get enough skill point to get the dash upgrade. What's that? Whoa, Heaven's preparing a major mindfuck operation in Rinkok South. I gotta warn everybody before they scan all our brains. Thanks, dude. Reward? You got it. I'm giving you access to one of our stashes, too. Fair's fair. Thanks. Alright. Talk to Hool again. Thanks for your help. Really, but I must process this now. Let's see each other soon. This is far from over, so we probably get that later. Well, uh, what did we get? No cash. Unless it's access somewhere else? I'm not... I'm not sure. Because we got something. Cats. Creep's nest. Okay. Stash locations. 
Creeps Nest, Creeps Fire Hole, and Nerve. So that's stashes at given locations are unlocked. So we can't actually get access to the stashes until a later date. Well, that's unfortunate, but that's that's okay. So I actually rather like this game. It's it looks like it's going to be manageable for me. I'm always afraid of like really hard games because I I I just I can't deal with like something ultra hard. And it's probably going to get there. I'm probably going to get frustrated, and we'll we'll see where that goes. But so far, first impressions are super positive, and I really like the style of like running around and stuff like this. It reminds me of Satellite Rain, but obviously. Uh, a completely different game, just the, the visual style and the uh, the design of it all, which is cool. But for now, I'm going to be going, uh, and yeah, we'll pick this back up on the next episode. And hopefully we get into a little bit less tutorially combat and a little bit more like real stuff, where I will inevitably die over and 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 over. Anyway, so if you guys like this episode uh, as short and as uh, limited as it might have been, uh, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, I'm going to try and throw my face at this uh, this potential brick wall, and we'll see if I can crash through it or not. Uh, I guess with that, like I was saying, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.